beautiful people hello my name's Linda and today what I wanted to talk to you about is nature so many people are living in concrete jungles these days surrounded by buildings and lights and electricity and cars and pollution and the busier and more hectic li our lives get the less time we actually dedicate and take time to go out and spend in nature. If you go back centuries and centuries ago, human beings were in nature all the time. They were always connecting to the earth and being around the earth and having exposure to the elements and to nature. I really think that in nature, spending time with her and connecting with her really pulls us back into the elements, the core elements and the elemental beings of the planet. It's so important for us to connect to this energy. It's a lot calmer energy. It's a lot more peaceful. The rhythm and the pace of the energy of the earth really feels a lot slower to the Western world, busy city life, where it's all go, 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 do, do, do rush 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 to-do list tick 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 and we spend our lives in this hamster wheel of continuously running and running and running and we never seem to get to the end of it so wherever you can take moments to go out and be in nature what you'll start to notice is that the energy that you're able to absorb it's almost like when you feel sun on your skin how the sun warms your body by being in nature, you kind of absorb this beautiful, peaceful energy and it also can be a really driving energy, a refilling energy, a restorative and healing energy. And all of us need that. I know if I get too busy with technology and you know, being on Facebook and working with my business and doing those things and I don't take enough time to be in nature, it's almost as if the craziness of that energy starts to affect my energy and how I can think and how my brain works. So for the past 90 days, I've actually dedicated a practice for myself of going out every single morning to watch the sunrise at a, in a liminal space. So at the water's edge or at the, at the edge between two things. And just to allow myself, my senses, my awareness and everything around me to connect to nature around me, to listen to the sounds of the birds and to really tune into them and, and be so connected into their song. I have been noticing things around me that I never saw before, even if I'd been to those places many times before, you know for events or going somewhere just to cycle through but actually sitting at the water's edge and just absorbing what's around me it's almost as if uh, like a radio station where you tune into the frequency like I've been tuning my frequency into a higher or heightened awareness state where I'm able to really connect to and feel the things around me what this does is bring so much peace peace, a lot of calm into my life and it connects me more into a space where I can communicate with my heart and soul. It allows me to go deeper within myself to connect more to who I am on an inner level, on a soul level and why I'm here and what I'm meant to be doing. And with that, you just feel like you can breathe more as if you're, the depth of your breath really goes down to your belly and as if you're drawing in and absorbing more of life and enjoying more of what life has to offer for you rather than getting caught up in the drama of what can be around us so much. So I'd highly recommend that you include some form of nature practice in your life where you take your shoes off and you feel the earth underneath your feet. You experience the wind on your skin giving you goosebumps. You sit in the warmth of the sun and allow the sun to penetrate into your body, warming you up on the inside. Sometimes when I'm sitting with the sunrise and I start out and it's quite dark and really cool and then 
after a while the sun comes up and it starts to really penetrate and warm my body, I go into a bit of a visualization or a meditation where it feels to me as if the warmth of the sun is, is like a warm hug or as if someone's pouring this delicious warm honey onto the inside of my being and my soul and I feel totally nurtured and soothed and healed from the inside out. It's such a beautiful and magical experience to be in nature and if you live in a place where there's lots of con concrete and perhaps you're in a high story building, try to bring nature into your space. Put a wallpaper on your walls that feels like you're in nature, trees and paintings and bring some real plants into your space, ones that you can nurture and, and be a part of their growing experience and just having that plant energy in your space can be so healing and so clearing. So wherever you can, try to bring nature into your space. Go for walks in nature. Be in nature every day if you can. And if it's too much for you to do it every day, try to set some time out every week where you just go and be in nature. You don't have an agenda, you don't have anything that you need to do. You just go and be in that space. And I can almost guarantee you that some level of healing or some level of peacefulness will enter into your space because it just feels amazing to be in nature and have it in your life. And if you're wanting to connect deeper to your soul, to your heart, if you're wanting to bring some more sparkle and aliveness into your life, then being in nature is essentially a free way to do that. You don't need to spend any money to be in nature. You just need to walk and, and go out and be in a park even if that's the, the best nature you have. A city park is still better than no nature at all. And just sit and be and allow yourself to absorb everything around you. And once you've spent some time being in nature, I'd love to hear about your experiences and how connecting into nature helps you. I've noticed that the more I do it, the more heightened my senses become. So I might be in a place and I've heard birds before, but I'll go there and it's almost like the song of the birds, just the volume of it just elevates and it's just so much more that I'm picking up and these small nuances of the tone of their song, things like that, that in the past I didn't even know existed. So nature has this beautiful way of really heightening and awakening our senses and our senses are a key portal for us to connect into our own intuitive voice, into our own intuitive wisdom to our heart space and connecting us into our souls. So if you're wanting to do that, then nature is definitely a way for you. If you just want to bring a bit more extra sparkle into your life, then nature will do that for you too. So have fun, enjoy your walks and your times in nature and really just use that time to be and connect and, and love who you are on the inside. Thank you for listening today and let me know how you go. I'd love to hear your stories. Bye.